Okay, here we are. My first incredible YouTube video here. Uh, I don't know how incredible it's going to be, but it's my first one. I'm Chance McFadden with FortMadisonGuitars.com. That's FortMadisonGuitars.com. Read that on the screen right there. Right there. See that? That's FortMadisonGuitars.com. Make sure you go there and check it out because we're doing all kinds of weird, crazy, wacky, exciting things um, in the... A uh, year and a half that I've been in business so far, I have managed to become one of the top Dan Electro dealers in the world. I'm Chance McFadden, and uh, I live in Fort Madison, Iowa, southeast corner. Uh, we border uh, Illinois and Missouri. What's that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's that, Ed? What's this edvinson.com? What, what's, what's that doing there? Is this a commercial for you? Man, everybody wants to get in the act. Okay, well, okay. Oh, there it's gone now. There it is. FortMadisonGuitars.com. Okay, check it out. Um, since this is the first one we're going to be doing, and we're going to do a few of them here. They're going to be short and sweet, but uh, this is uh, that. Everybody know what that is? Okay, listen to that. Ah, uh, our good friend that follows us everywhere we go with single coil pickups. It's Mr. 60 Cycle Hum. Okay, we all like him, not. Okay. And since I didn't have time with the lights and everything to find the sweet spot, so we're gonna have to put up with a little 60 cycle hum, okay? But uh, we're gonna start out, we're gonna talk about my three top lines, uh, Dan Electro, Hoffner, and GNL. Let's talk about Dan Electro. It's my all time favorite subject. 25 years ago when I was doing guitar shows all over the United States, if you had a Dan Electro guitar, somebody would say, ah, that's a, that idiot McFadden over there, the guy in the little booth, the one that doesn't have any money, you want to go see him because he'll buy that piece of crap from you. And since then, the rest of the world's got entirely hip to the fact that the beauty and the simplicity of Dan Electro is, is its simplicity. It's, it's basically a plywood frame, or uh, pop, let's see, it's poplar frame. Sometimes in the new models they use plywood, but it's a poplar frame and a masonite top and bottom. And uh, they sandwich the top and the bottom together. Oh, that's nice. And uh, in the originals, they, they put this tape around it. And on the originals, they actually used a one and five eighths diameter medical tape. It was a cloth casting tape. And uh, why they chose not to use them on the reissues boggles my mind, but I have ordered a bunch of it. So um, if you buy a guitar from me and you want the original tape on it, give me a call. I'll send your roll of tape. It won't cost you a dime. Uh, this is the 59 Dano. And this one has some changes from the, from the earlier uh, reissues. This one has the, uh, m what we call the modified Coke headstock, as you can tell, the Coke headstock, and then it has a little dip here, a little dippity do here at the top part. Uh, it's got the shower type machine heads, and it still has the aluminum nut, and uh, the frets are dressed beautifully. This was originally, a, last year it was $300 guitar retail, but because of the demand, uh, for this guitar and the supply being very minimal, uh, we're getting five and a half for these guitars now. So, uh, and this is actually the last one I have, and I really don't anticipate getting any more. So, uh, it's kind of like if you snooze, you lose type deal. But the the guitars are really great. Uh, if you're listening to me talk about Dan Electro guitars. You obviously have an interest in them, and you probably already know everything I'm going to say anyway. But for those that are first timers, this is the one they call the Jimmy Page model. This is the newest version of it. But uh, on the original Jimmy Page model, the one that he played in concert, it did not have the adjustable bridge. It did not have uh, the one volume and one tone control. It had concentric stack knobs. And of course, this one does maintain the original integrity of the seal pick guard. And uh, the uh, strap buttons are more your traditional type, um, whereas they were just the old peg buttons in the, in the new one. Uh, these guitars, 
are incredibly simple. Uh, and that's the, and that's the appeal of it. And then plus they sound great. The lipstick two pickups. Uh, it's kind of a situation where less is more. The bobbins are small. You can't get a whole heck of a lot of windings on them. And because of that, it's uh, it's a real clean sounding pickup, and it's real jangly. And the jangle is the main thing on the Dan Electro guitars. People like the cleanliness. guitars and they sound good distorted. I was playing it earlier distorted and we won't listen to that again. But uh, <clears throat> they all pretty much sound the same. Uh, that's the nice thing. The nice thing is uh, you know if you pick up a U2 or a DC2 or a Pro or whatever they all pretty much sound the same. The pickups really are the um, main heart of the guitar and the Masonite and the poplar or plywood frames adds to the simplicity. It's there's just kind of a romanticism about Dan Electro guitars, you know. And the other thing is, it's for the guys that that play to a different drummer. In other words, not your guitar Nazis. Okay, we're going to talk about guitar Nazis now. Guitar Nazis are guys that says, well, if it's not Martin Gibson or Fender. It ain't worth a beep. Okay, no, actually, wrong. It is because it's a, it's amazing. Some of these aftermarket guitars that aren't American made. I mean, guys, it's breathtaking. Some of the guitars that come out, some of the work on. I'll be showing some of them to you later in this spot and in some other spots. But uh, they're just. Uh, these Dan Electros are just, they're not for the guitar Nazis. And, uh, but then again, I talked to quite a few guys that got Les Pauls and Strats and they like their Dan Electros too. So, uh, so many guitars, so little time. I want to thank you all for tuning in for my first uh, YouTube video. I'm Chance McFadden with FortMadisonGuitars.com. Call me anytime that I'm conscious at 319-372-0268. And if you can't reach me there and you really want to talk, and I really want to talk to you, and all of you that have bought from me know I really want to talk to you because I am long-winded and I can just go on and on and on, kind of like on this video, they call me on my cell phone, which is 319-561-0064. And if I still don't answer you, then that means I'm probably working at the church down the street. So um, keep on rocking. Check out my next video. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.